Hey guys, your host of Crosstown Connections, Valerie Greenberg, here with the beautiful Bianca de la Garza. Oh, perfecto. Yes. Hi, Valerie. Okay, so not only is she an Emmy nominated journalist, she's a television host, content creator, and most recently, beauty entrepreneur. You know, just not enough hours in the day, we have to create more jobs, right, for ourselves. And what can we do Always. next? What can we create, Valerie? 100%. I'm so with you. And that's why I was so excited to have you here with us on Crosstown Connections because it's all about women and people that inspire us. And I was so inspired by reading about your story. You have covered so many different interesting journalistic beats of news. I mean, you've covered the royal wedding. What was that like? And this was Kate and Prince William's wedding, so I just want to make sure I clarify which wedding. I was the OG, right? the first wedding way back when. Well, that was a, a great assignment, and you know, I spent 17 years in journalism, so it really did run the gamut. I was with people um, on the best day of their life, like the royal wedding, so much love in London, and I got to um, make a world exclusive when I was covering that particular wedding, because I interviewed Ma Mohammed Al-Fayed, uh, Dodi's father, and he talked about Diana and the conspiracy around their death. So a moment like that in history I've been able to witness, and also so uh, tragedies as well. So I feel that my career in journalism really allowed me to understand human spirit. And while I know that people can win a Super Bowl and one week I'm standing next to Tom Brady, um, the following week I could be covering a, an act of terror as I did with 9-11 and the Boston Marathon bombing. So for me, uh, that chapter in journalism was a beautiful opportunity to really experience the world and have the privilege to tell people's stories. I mean, what do you think has been, and this show is all about connecting, the most inspiring connection that you've made thus far throughout your journey because you have, you know, had so many different types of experiences? And I have, and it's like hard to even answer that question. It's like, who's that person that, you know, it was so many different people along the road. Um, but I think that my faith is a big thing for me, and I think that my family's a big thing. So my mother was a wonderful inspiration and sort of shaped my world, and I'm a Latina. My dad was an immigrant who came here from Mexico. So I'm a single mom, I'm an entrepreneur, and I'm self-made. And I want women today to know that when they see a picture on Instagram or in Bella, that can be them. Like, it really has gotten lost in translation, I think, where we have sort of got all these images about self-doubt and we're not good enough and we can't have it all. And I think the, the whole message about beauty really needs to be changed because for so many years, we're being bombarded with images of what's the standard of beauty. And, you know, I look back and my mother's beauty was was very simple and I look now at my 12 year old daughter and it's not so simple so I want to create a platform that becomes a catalyst for change and I believe as far as humanity goes we really need to shift towards global inclusivity and see the beauty in in the world view and how beautiful it is and men are part of this conversation a huge part Valerie and that is so well said I just love listening to you speak oh my goodness so engaging but what it really comes down to also is right now you're going to merge into the beauty sphere but how do you think you you are going to navigate these new connections in a whole new world essentially for yourself because you are shifting from journalism to beauty and and you and I love that your message you're saying to people you don't have to be just one thing you can be many we can do it we can achieve it so my background really afforded me to see what it's like to have to wear a persona. When I did the morning news, if I had a bad day and my hair wasn't perfect, I could literally be called into my boss's office because a viewer complained about a pimple. So to live in that like hamster wheeled environment is very unhealthy. And um, I don't see that really going away because we have this you know machine that is mass media. So what I seek to do in, in what in Glow We Trust means is to trust ourselves and enhance our inner beauty because we need to cultivate self-love, and that's not one thing any cosmetic company can sell us. We need to cultivate it, find a way to find our true north and go after our passions. Because when you have a, a authentic expression of self, you're embodying what you truly want to do, and that's beautiful. Do what makes you feel happy. Do what makes you feel good. 100%. And I think that's what we all sort of need to take into consideration. What do what makes you feel most confident? What makes you feel good about yourself? And we need people to be fearless with their self-expression. You know, talking about beauty, inner beauty, and, you know, exterior beauty as well, a way of connecting with other people. It is, because if you grow, beauty's like the least superficial thing we can talk about it. And I know it's been resigned to a YouTube tutorial, but I want to take beauty as a content creator and elevate it to the subject that I think it is, which is very complex. Because beauty is fun and playful, but beauty is a song you hear. Beauty's art, 
beauty's music. Beauty's like when you see a really hot guy and you're like, wow, that person over there, I'm so attracted to them. It's life force energy, right? So beauty really could be science and it's nature, it's nurture. It is not just buying a lipstick. It's such a big message. And that's why I really think as society, we need to get it right. And the times now, we have an unbelievable opportunity, Valerie, to really change the narrative in beauty and to get people on board, which is like, listen, as humanity, as society moving forward, we won't survive if we keep telling people that they're not good enough and to cover up. It's not the way we're going to be able to be healthy and, and thrive. So I think the more voices out there, like women like you, people who watch your show, that we can kind of collectively come together and put these little drops in a well, well, that well will soon become a tidal wave. Girl, I love it. That is such amazing energy. Bianca De La Garza, thank you. Oh, my gosh. Thanks for having me. And I love the show. Congratulations with everything. We need more voices like you in the market. But this is the thing. It's about us. It's about all of us. It's about connecting. It's about opening our eyes and seeing the beauty amongst, you know, the people around us. It was such a pleasure to sit down with Emmy-nominated TV host Bianca De La Garza and discuss how important it is to really make an inspiring connection and to be our true selves. I can't wait to see what our Uber pool rider has to say about both these questions I'm going to pose. most people say hello to you this friendly? No, not really. <laughs> yeah, Uber pools, sometimes people can be a little standoffish. But very nice to meet you. I'm Val. I'm Sophie. Nice to, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Ooh, I hear an accent. Where are you from, yeah. darling? <laughs> I'm from um, the UK. Very nice. I love practicing my British accent. How do I sound, darling? So I want to ask you a question about connecting because okay. I host a show that's all about connecting and building confidence. So you're from London. Have you had any really inspiring connections since you've been here in the States? People that you've met that have um, really resonated with you? Well, I'm here now because I'm studying it here. So I study journalism. Amazing. Um, so I think I really have connected well with kind of like my tutors, like the people that look after me um, at the college that I'm at. So and I think that's important because it's a scary thing to come, obviously, to a different country yeah, on your own. Yeah, like, you're a brave girl. That's amazing. I've never yeah, done something so like think, that before. I definitely think I, it's taught me the importance of maybe putting myself out there a bit more and connecting with other people. I love that. And how do you think that these people that you've met and really just connected with helped you feel like your true authentic self? I think it's just maybe them accepting me for me. Like obviously yeah. I'm different, like I sound different. Like You're every, adorable, every, I love it. <laughs> every new person that I've met has been like, oh like you from England or whatever and I think like that's it's nice and it's I think it makes people seem more friendly. Have people here been warm and welcoming to you? Yeah, a lot more warm and welcoming than most British people. And, and <laughs> have I been warm and welcoming? Yeah. <laughs> is this so like good. a normal thing for an Uber No, pool Sophie, here? this is very <laughs> uncommon. Oh, but that's the whole goal of this show. We want to encourage people to be friendly, to be kind, uh -huh. and to pass it forward. So I hope you can yeah, do I that for that. us. I love that. Yes, yeah. amazing. 